So how can something that has no end be larger than something else that has so, no end? So these are orders of infinity. Then there are more, there are more transcendental numbers than there are irrational numbers. What's a transcendental number? So that's a number that you'll never find as a solution to to an algebraic equation. So pi is a transcendental number. These are magic numbers that show up in mathematics. And there's turns out there's like an even bigger infinity of those than there is of these other two classes of numbers. But what, what confuses me is the word infinity, because I had always taken the word infinity to mean something that has no end. So how can something that has no end be larger than something else that has so no end? So the way they do that mathematically, <coughs> the way to demonstrate that mathematically is you, you map one item in the set of this infinity to corresponding items in the set of the other, other infinity. Mm. And so you do this. So you take the one and you map it to like the first transcendental number, take the two to the second. You just keep doing this. And when you do that mathematically, what you find that one infinity outstrips the other infinity. Wow. And then you're left with more, with more numbers. So that shows you that you have a bigger infinity.